for the Fisherman Award. I know I have some recipes for fish too. Oh, a dark zone appeared. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Fish and jelly. It's marshmallows and fish. Marshmallows and salmon. Specifically, salmon. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this trout. I had another fish. Fish and cream sauce is herring and suede. So that doesn't do any good. Those are the only two recipes I have for fish. Recipe. Maybe it's for fish. It's a treasure map. We should go check that out. Who doesn't like a good treasure hunt? I hope my hole stays open in the ice. Because I want to come back and fish later. Though, I have to admit, I didn't figure it out by myself. I looked at a forum post. Because what I was doing didn't seem to be working. And I wanted to, to catch a fish successfully for you guys. There's that treasure. Hmm, we're going the wrong way. We're aiming for the, the X. Oh, oh, it's the star cream. There's ice cream that falls out of the sky at night. And it does as much healing as a small health potion, which is like half my health bar. So I absolutely always catch, or try to catch, the meteor ice cream. I can't fish at night because of the monsters. I'm sorry, I can fish at night. I can't fish at night night because of the monsters. Um, so we can try and reach the treasure maybe tomorrow night because I think I'm gonna spend the rest of the day fishing provided my hole stayed open. And it did, good. I don't know how long it will take for that to seal back up. Six or 6.30 is when morning comes. And then, oh, six looks like we can try the fishing thing again. Okay, so it says wait for a bite. And there'll be a blue circle that appears. You gotta hit E really fast. And then you have to hold E until you get to the red, and then let it drop back down to the green. You keep doing that without letting it touch the end of the bar until you catch the thing you're trying to catch. So now we're up two pink trout. I can't remember what the achievement is, the other achievement I wanted. There's like a master fisherman achievement that I wanted. I think you have to catch like 500 fish though, so we're probably not going to get that one today. But at least we got the other fisherman one. Yeah, success. I'm catching some fish here. And I can make some of these fish dishes. Fish dish. I sound like I'm in a Dr. Seuss book. Oh, I got a salmon. I have a recipe for that. Getting better at fishing, it looks like. I don't know what to do with these pink trout, though. I might just, uh, I might just sell them to Joe. And buy some lollipops or something. Salmon. Well, now that I read on how to do this, I'm like a master fisherman. No fishes too. Maybe one of the other fishing ones was catch all the different types of fish. Maybe there was like five types of fish or something. I mean, we know that there's salmon and herring because I have recipes for them. And then we know there's pink trout because I caught one or a couple. I think we can catch a few more fish here. 
and then move on to something else. I keep getting pink trout. I really want to get some more salmon because i that's what I have the recipe for. Or even a herring would be fine because I have a recipe for it. Oh, I broke my fishing rod. That's a good time to stop fishing. All right, let's go treasure hunting. Do I have a shovel? Yes, I do. And my six bar down here. We're aiming for the X, folks. X marks the spot. And every other time I've gone treasure hunting, it's been one of the bigger mounds of snow that it's under. So that's what we're going to look for bigger mound we'll just get our handy dandy sword and shield ready just in case to the east. I need more stamina. I don't think there's any way to permanently increase your stamina in the game, but I could be wrong about that. Ugh, those things hit so hard. It's not worth fighting. Nope. Big pile of nope right there. You guys can bugger off. Ain't got no time for that. There's a whaler right there. A couple of them. But I got some goblins on my tail, so I don't really want to increase the number of enemies coming after me. You I can take. Come out into my snowlands, foolish goblin. Oh, we're getting close to the treasure. Some stuff in here I can smash up because I'm a jerk. Absolutely got nothing out of that. Okay, so the treasure is right up here. I bet it's under this snow. Let's equip our shovel. -da -da -da. Let's see what this one does. Health regeneration one. We are up to health for generation two. That is sweet. That is probably the second best gift I have gotten in this game. The first best being the first health for generation ring. Because, oh boy, do I go through my health points like crazy. not block fast enough for this guy and his little flail like knocks me backwards so he's even harder to hit oh I leveled Fifteen minutes in the stream left, so is there anything 
anyone would like to see before I sign off? And please don't say me dying because I'm sure you've seen enough of that. You're about to see it again if I'm not careful here. Even with my two health rings, how sad is that? I have my warm hat on, should I risk it? It's almost night night. Oh, it's so dark in here. Can we make it to this, the area that we were trying to get to last time? That thing I just picked should be a lollipop. Yeah, I don't know if you saw it in my inventory really quick. I'll show it again when I'm safer. Okay, so we need to get here. No! That snail's here. No, what is that? I can fight the snail. I can't fight that icy thing. I don't know what that is. It's just gonna have to hang out there for a minute and shoot at me. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, so... We'll go ahead and eat the snail meat because I want to pick up this recipe. Iron bow. Now, we know what this means. If there is an iron bow, it means there has to be iron armor iron sword iron shield i mean i guess it doesn't have to be but you know it's pretty likely all right we're gonna go after this this really angry thing it's in the dark i can't see it now it's not fair How come you get to hit me and I can't hit you? Okay, I broke it, whatever it was. Now, I think this guy is our quest. Yes! Look at that! I turned the teleporter on. Oh, I hope I didn't just teleport and can't get back. Nope, I totally can go back. That is pretty cool. What do you need, traveler? Joe sent me here to find you. Joe. Ha! Now there's a name I haven't heard in a while. That scallywag still owes me for my last shipment of candies. Look, kid. Bring me some chaff wool. Then we'll talk. Five units of wool. So he wants me to... Apparently they're called chaff. But I've been calling them whalers or yeti those are the two things i've been getting wool from it is so dark oh it's because it's night night let's wait for night night to be over and see what's see what there is to see before we sign off probably will die we're pretty good at that but hey we made it to um, Total's house, which was our next quest. So that's pretty impressive, I think. And we found out that there's iron goods, which is pretty sweet. I wonder if I need to build a forge. Room, cauldron, bed, painting, wooden table. I haven't. Okay, night night's over. I haven't seen a forge as a choice. Hmm. 
we are gonna break out our shovel here. It won't let me. Why won't it let me? Oh, because I don't have enough room in my inventory. Okay, we're going to drop this flint. Let's drop something else. Mm. Ice, I guess, because I can make it. We are going to take this with us so that we can grow lollipops in our own house. And I think these are going to be iron deposits. I think it's probably a good idea to get some of them now. But what are we going to drop? Dry herbs. Don't really need those. No, I just picked them back up. Let's get rid of these ones because there's less of these. Um, and let's get our pickaxe out. Let's take, let's see if we can take some of this iron here. Nice. I'm assuming it's iron. Iron ore, look at that. So yeah, I'm really excited that we unlocked that teleporter to Total's house because that will make it so much easier to get here. We won't have to be trudging across the landscape for... 800 years. We're just going to look around a little bit. I'm excited to try to plant some of these in my house. And I broke my shovel. That's okay. Some more iron ore while we're here. Hopefully this guy doesn't attack me. Just mining. No need to fight me, Mr. Mushroom Man. Just want some ore. I can see another one over here. A nice haul right there. Oh, we can mine that for ice, it appears. So this is something. Let's go ahead and get rid of those herbs. And we'll get the mushroom. I think my pick's about to break. When it does, we'll go home. Back to Tolov's house. Man, I'm really excited that we unlocked that portal. That is really useful for us. And we got two healing rings that heal only one each, but I'm hopeful that there are rings down the road that will heal more. Because if we can heal faster than we can die, there might just be hope for us. Ow, 50 points, that's a lot. Where's Total's house? Way back there. Oh, I'm hungry. Ow! Oh, don't stop to eat. <laughs> oh, he killed me. That's okay, I'll just respawn the place I was trying to go anyway. <laughs> Alright, so let's get healed up here. And let's go get those roses planted. I shouldn't say roses, I should say lollipop bush seeds. Oh, I'm so excited. We got those. So those will make the big health potions. And we need those.
And what, what does it take to make the bottles, I wonder? Just ice. That's not hard to get at all. We can mine it from the frigid zone. Or we can um, just break down the snow mountains and do it that way. Looks like my hole survived here. My fishing hole. I don't know how to process this ore. I wonder if I should if I can do it in my own fireplace? I'll try that. Let's get these seeds planted first. That's my top priority, is these lollipop seeds. Oh come on, there's a dude right outside my house. Come on, dude. I have a quest to kill you for your fur. I'm sorry. It's nothing personal. Great, now we can grow marshmallows and lollipops. I feel like that's kind of a funny thing to say, that we're growing marshmallows and lollipops, but it's the truth. I think I can build a teleport pad to my house. Let me check. Wood, 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 wood. Garden bed, yeah, no, teleport stone. If it is active, you can open a portal above it by using a rune of teleportation. We can build this. Now let's see if we can put it in our house. How do I make a rune of teleportation though? Oh, super easy. Okay, let's try to put that, that down. Okay, I can't put it in my house. Let's put it right here. Ta-da! I have my own personal teleport stone. I don't know if I can teleport from there, like... Okay, so it's on. I don't know how to use the stone, but I don't want to waste my stone yet. I think I have some more Sigma stones in here somewhere. Yeah, I do. So I can make some extra runes. I don't know why there's no max option on this one. Like everything else has a max option. Okay, so we did that. Um, let's go make some fish and jelly. Meals for 70, hunger, which is not insignificant. I have no inventory space. Oh no, these runes take up one spot each. I didn't know that. I may not have room for all this. That's not good. Well, oh look, I got something in here. Let's put them in here. Phew. I hate to lose all those. I mean, that's some... I had to kill a lot of those obelisk blocks to get these. You know, I didn't really pay attention to if I was staying warm enough in the in the frigid zone. Should have been paying more attention. My shield and breastplate are doing so hot. Oh, we wanted to try testing smelting. Let's do that. <clears throat> okay, let's see if I can smell. No, I cannot. <laughs> Apparently, I am not built to take raw iron ore in my hands, stick it in the fire, and come out with iron ingots. So there must be a recipe for a smeltery, or a forge, or something somewhere. Um... 
and maybe there's something in the town I can use. Yeah, I don't have anything at the moment. So, I mean, we could change our house around a little bit. Hmm. It's night, night. It's in my inventory. Let's let's clear some of this stuff out of my inventory that I don't need. It's not that I don't need it. It's just that it's cluttered. Things. Oh, you know what? I think I have enough to build the swordsman's hat. Yes. Oop, I need a loom. Let's go to the loom. Now I can quit killing pigs because I got all of the stuff I needed there. I can't wear my winter hat though, my warm hat, which is what I need in a frigid zone. I guess I'll bring it with me, but I gotta be ready to switch hats at a moment's notice. Let's see. I don't know why those were separated. Feeling the marshmallow is like a ingredient for something higher level later. Oh, okay. So look, here's a good thing. I have enough wool to take the Toto. So let's see if I can use my teleportation stone to get to him. Oh no, it opens a portal home. That's a little bummer. So I can open a portal home, but I can't use this to leave. All right, so I think we learned some good stuff this time. Um, our combat got better. We got some better equipment, which probably helped. Mm -hmm. We found Toto, we delivered Joe's message, we got a few icy hearts, dug up some treasure, we went fishing, we made some new recipes, I think it was a pretty good run. Um, I'm really excited about these two rings that I have that heal me, and I think that the lollipop bushes will be very useful. Um, we need the lollipops to make the larger health potions which heal 60 instead of 40. Oh, I thought these healed 50. So that 60 will help. Um, the small mana potions give us three mana back, but we honestly have not used magic enough for it to matter. Um, nor have we ever used a small mana potion. I think I ate maybe one icy rose to restore some mana. Uh, the big ones just take two roses in a bottle, so I mean, we could probably make some, but I think, actually, I sold my last stack of Icy Roses to Joe because I just didn't need them. Because I'm just not using magic very much. Um, I really should, though, because we're going to start using these abilities. And, the, the like, this one, um, this has to be level 5 before we can unlock this one, which we've now unlocked. But it shocks the victim... And not like electric shocks, but throws them into a state of shock, according to the description. And I think that a frozen enemy would be very useful, um, because I like it when they stop hitting me, and I can do some damage. So that is something to keep in mind. Um, what's this one do? Throws the blades of wind, cutting down your enemy. Can be used three times in a row. That's pretty useful. And then a coming soon. This says early access, so not every feature is unlocked. Um, but yeah, I think that's a good place to stop for today, and I hope everybody had a good time. Uh, remember that Sunday we'll be coming back with a new game, 
and it's uh, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We don't have the game picked out yet, but we'll, we'll decide here soon. Uh, so please come back on Sunday and join me for a new adventure. I hope you enjoyed Feel the Snow. Please join me on Twitter at Early Hexus, or you can find my videos on YouTube, or you can come here at Twitch. So please have a good day. Please have fun gaming, and may your enemies fall before you. Bye.